like winter right up until it gets to be Christmas time, until after Christmas, and then there's nothing in between. It's just cold. And since I'm a gardener, I don't like that here. Hey, hey, Jay. Good guys, I'm I'm doing really good. I couldn't come yesterday. I um had all intentions of painting yesterday, but I have um, an elderly parent who lives not near too far from me, and unfortunately. And I, lo I lost my dad last year, and uh, right at the same time. So this part of the year has been kind of hard on my mom. It's, she needed to go to lunch, so that kind of tied me up for the afternoon. But that's okay. Moms are important. More important than me painting, that's for sure. Not as more important. Not well, at least as important as you guys. I know it wasn't through the year. Uh, that that was the day. That, Emily, that was the day that. I was like, ooh, that's the first time actually I heard you speak. I was like, she sounds so southern. You sound so country. I grew up in the country. Grew up on a farm a little bit. I grew up, grew up out in the country, but then I was, spent a couple years before I went to the military on the farm. All right, so let's get going with this thing. So let's take some, let's get our act together here. Let's get some liquid white. So for those of you who are new, this is oil painting. Wet on wet style. I'm just gonna put a real thin coat of this on here. I don't want too much of this on here today. Uh, not just enough to make it slick. Slick and responsive. This is it's gonna be a, a crap ton of blending on this, I think. If I if it comes out the way it's in my head. Which, by the way, it hardly ever does, but you know. That's okay. That's okay. All right. So here it's like 90 degrees outside. And I've already done my garden work for the day. And, uh, so I just thought I'd do some. I've already got my writing done for the day. Working on uh, the ninth book in a series I've been working on for about 30 years called Bornshire. So this is the, the last book in that series. And uh, keeps me busy, keeps me out of trouble. So now, here's a, here's a, in case nobody asks this question, but in case you ever do, what do I do if I get paint all over my fingers? All right, now Emily Jean is an acrylic painter, so if she gets paint on her hands, uh, that's okay, because she's, uh, she uses her hand as a palette. So that, that's interesting. She's kind of interesting anyway. If you guys haven't watched her channel, you should. She's, she's an awesome artist. And then, uh, but, I use really super fine product. Pampers Baby Wipes. They will clean oil paint right off of your tools and right off of you in nothing flat. Alright, so we got just a regular 12 by 16 canvas. Uh, it's got, uh, it's not an out of store, well it is an out of store canvas, but it's got a coat of my gesso on it that I made. And now we're going to, uh, now it's got a coat of, of liquid white on it, which is just basically, is, in case you don't know what liquid white is, it's basically titanium white and, and mixed with uh, linseed oil. So, you know, let's start this off with, uh, let's just get some, we're gonna put a little bit of Prussian blue, not a lot of color here, a, lot of, a little bit of Prussian blue, and a little bit of midnight black, kind of mixed together on the brush, and then we'll just kind of, you know, let's kind of start over this way. I'm gonna put a little bit of winter sky up in here. <laughs> There's a couple things going on here, just like this. Now darken this color over here. Darken this cover, this part over here, a little bit, because I want to, it kind of creates a little vignette kind of thing. So we can put a little bit more black over here. There we go. Ah, I like that. That's better. All right. So we're just kind of mixing this black and the blue. You can actually see some striations of that black in here along with the blue, because I'm just kind of mixing on the brush. I'm not mixing up the color with it. All right. I'm going to kind of take a little bit of that. I'm going to kind of put some of this across this way. All right. Uh, black. A little more black. Here we go. This will, we're, it's going to be a snowy. It's going to be kind of snowy, I think. Let's make some snow. So we'll just kind of... Let's push that all the way across like that. Alright. And that'll give us a 
Give me some background color to start with. Or, you threw some paint down on the canvas and now you gotta figure out what you're gonna do with it. It does work. It does work. It's always neat to watch how creative other artists are. It just amazes me. Amazes me how much talent there is out there. All right, so we're gonna blend this out. Now, we could just blend it back and forth, back and forth. I'm not gonna do that though. I just wanna kinda of twirl this around. Just twirl, just using the, just using, I can't quite see it on the brush yet. Just using the very edge of the brush like this. Can you see that? So it's pushing it in and I'm just turning it like that. Just the edges, just don't want to get the whole brush under like that. I don't want that, that's not what I'm looking for. Look a little bit just like that. Just for, oh, you might even get to see them. Can you see it like there on the corner? So, just gonna kind of twirl this around, twirl this around, blend, this, blend these colors. And this, this little bit of a, a spin kind of a color will kind of make it look like there's some clouds have been out back up in there without actually having to put any clouds in there. I ain't got nothing against clouds. Clouds are good. Now, you'll also notice maybe sometimes I'll be I'll be turning it this way with this corner of the brush. And then I'll turn around and I'll go this way, this way with the brush. But when I do, I switch corners of the I switch corners of the brush. So even though I'm going in an opposite circle, so I kind of go some this way, then some this way. And the reason for that is just to kind of you know kind of randomize it a little bit more. And, and if you're if you try to do that, make sure that you just kind of do it slow till you kind of get it right. And then when you start to you, you really get comfortable in switching the brush around, and then there's going to be nothing to it. All right, I'll just go back and forth. All right, this part down here, this is going to be snow. All this is going to be snow. So this is just shadow color right here. I said hi to everybody. What did I do with my? Oh man! I'm bringing my lemonade over here. It's over there. Well, I'll go get it in a minute. All right. So let's get. Let's mix up a color though. Let's get some. Get some Prussian blue. I'm not going to mix up a lot of this color. Maybe. You can tell about me. I'm going to get going here in a minute. All right. And I'm just going to mix it up with some some white. Titanium white. I have eight. A ton of titanium white over here on the canvas. I mean, on the palette. All right. Let me kind of look at that color. Uh, maybe a little bit lighter. Maybe a little bit more white. I'm mixing that color up pretty good, but I'm not mixing it up completely. So you can see that it's kind of blue. See, it's a little lighter blue, a little bluier than that color. But I also want those striations in there a little bit. We'll put some trees in here in the background, just some background trees. So, not to waste paint, I'll just take it off of this brush, I mean off of this knife, with the brush. I'll let it mix up as it's getting on there too. I'm not wipe that knife off in a minute. Alright, so, in mixing the paint, in, in pulling the paint onto the brush, the way I'm loading this brush, because once I start putting it down, you're going to say, how in the heck? Alright, so, I'm loading this brush. Use a plexiglass here. So imagine this is laying down flat. I'm loading this brush. I'm tapping it into the paint, and then I'm pushing it. So I'm pushing it like that, pushing it up into the paint, and then turning it over and pushing it and pushing it. And by doing that, it'll make a it'll make the beveled edge, which will work really good for, for what I'm about to do here. At least I hope so. All right. So let's get going. So let's let's try this color out. I'm just kind of tapping these trees in, tapping them in, tapping them in. We're just these trees are way back, way back there. Now, you can also make trees, I'll stick an extra tree in here just to show you. 
You can also take, see, so you can see this little beveled edge. Can you see the beveled edge there on this? You can also kind of make a tree if you want to by just taking the edge of the brush with that beveled edge and just pushing it on there, pushing it on there. Turn around, push it on the side, and just pull it down. Just like that. So if you want a little like, skinny tree or something, you can just kind of do that. You know, I think I like those trees. I think I'll just kind of maybe put a few over here. I want these trees to be out there in the way out there in the distance. Way out there, way out there. Alright. I don't think I'll clean I don't think I'll clean that brush. I think I will pick up another brush. Thank you, Pat. That's very nice of you to say. Alright. So I'm just gonna pick up some titanium white. I'm just gonna kinda of tap up into this, kind of create a little bit of mist. Not a lot of mist, just a little bit of mist up in between these trees. And there's some, you know, hint of some landscape there. But I'm gonna put some more trees over the top of that. So I want to create another row of just the trees, but we're gonna pull these trees in a little bit closer. So let's do that. I think what I'll do though is I will pull a little bit more blue into this. Let's see how this color looks. So you see by making it just a little bit darker, we pulled that, pulled that in a little bit closer, but I want to make some of these trees need to be a little taller, I think, just to make them a little bit more, you know, a little more. Let's introduce some snow. Now, um, a lot of people have trouble with snow, and, and, but snow is like one of the easiest things you can do. So, it's, it gets, and there's actually some really cool things you can do with snow, technique-wise. Um, so let's just get, so let me load up my one-inch brush here with some, some, with some titanium white. And we'll just start, just start laying in some landscape here. So this kind of, now, one thing, I, uh, probably one of the hardest things for me to learn was that the slightest bit of curve in your landscape on your canvas, when you draw back from it and look at the painting, it'll, if you have hardly more than just a little bit, it'll just have like, it'll look like it's a very steep hill. So make sure you don't pull down too much. Don't get too carried away. Don't get too carried away. That's okay. We want to pull some of this color in, create some of this shadow, get up in these trees. show you an interesting thing you can do. Well, let's wait we get a little further out in the snow. So let's, yeah, okay. It's my great, my great planning for today. I want to do this, I want to do a winter scene. That's it. We'll just kind of figure it out from there. All right. 
Yeah. Put some trees in. Let's put some close trees. Some closer trees. I'm gonna put some um, upper upper trees that that um, get the branches go more up than down. I, I can't. Well, I like them both. It, it doesn't much matter to me which which one I have. But the um, only on a painting per painting basis. I don't, I don't have a favorite. No, I don't have a favorite tree. All right, so let's mix up some color. Let's get, let's clean off my knife. Let's clean off my knife. So maybe this is like just before the, just before the snow comes in, you know. The snow's about to come in. So I'm just gonna take some, some more of this black and some blue. Maybe some alizarin crimson. I'll throw some alizarin crimson in there too. Ridiculous. It'll make a nice dark color. Oh, yeah. All right, that looks good. All right, so let's put, let's do this with a fan brush. So it's a number six fan brush. Nope, it's not, it's a number eight, my bad. All right, so we'll just kind of take the paint off the knife and then we'll go over here and mix this up. So, so let's put a couple trees in here. Maybe one like right here. Let's bring one in right here. And then we will paint another one. Let's put another one right here. Let's put another one right here. I like all the sophisticated planning I'm doing here. All right, so and then let's put another, let's put a big one right, right here. Let's put one right here. Maybe, 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 maybe. Let's put one. Well, we could, let's try to stick one up here on the seal. Like right there. Let's bring this one down a little farther. Like that. All right. That's it for planning. All right. Let's put these trees in. Can you guys see okay? Everybody hearing everything okay? If anything's, if anything's wrong with the video, let me know because. I start painting, I don't know. Also, let me know if my head starts to get in the way, because I noticed on my last video the sword kind of was in certain places. Now I'm just pushing the brush in, and I'm kind of pushing up, pushing up, instead of pushing down. And I'm kind of going slow here, so you guys can kind of grab onto this technique if you if you want to use it. I'm trying to make sure I keep the center of the tree dark, dark, dark. Because that dark's going to be our friend here in a little bit. Alright, so now you see these trees are a lot closer than the, those trees in the background. So suddenly they're, they seem way back there. Alright. Can't paint without paint, so make sure you keep your brush full of paint. Da -da 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 -da. I better do this one back here first. Oh, now I'm gonna have to make it taller. All This tree is going to go over the top of them somewhat. Alright, we got lots of room for our little squirrels and stuff like that. I'm going to put some bushes and stuff in here in a minute. I'm going to put, just tap a few bushes in here, why not? Da 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 da. We'll put some snow around them. Maybe they'll go on back here a little bit. We'll put some snow on them too. Da 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 da. da. Make it a little uneven. Here we go. I like that. What do you think? What do y'all think? How's that look? Yeah, maybe back here. We'll just tap in a couple more bushes back here. 
It's just no one knows. All right. You can't see the whole painting? Uh, let me see which way does this have to move. Uh, I have a 30 second delay. Oh, it's okay now? Okay. Now we'll come back and highlight that stuff in a second. Let's put some snow in here first, though. Let's leave that brush over there. We'll put some, put some more snow in here. Do, 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 do. Let's go. I'm going to pick up some of that color. Now, as we pick up this color, we want to kind of Pick up some of that dark. Have that dark. Because that gives us some good shadows in there. Hmm. Have an idea. We'll try it here just a second. Landscape out a little bit, so not so quite so steep. There we go. All right. Well, let's. Maybe we could put a little bit of a frozen stream in here. Maybe that would be kind of good. So let's. I can kind of see it right in there, in between here, but let's, so let's kind of, we'll see, we'll see, you know, it's really kind of funny, we could actually kind of, take this and darken it and almost make this look like it's sitting on the edge of a cliff, but we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll figure it out. Now let's pull those out and make them reflections here. So now you can really see that liquid white in action because you can see that it's allowing me to just move this paint around in all sorts of different ways. Let's get some paint right in that area. There we go. There we go. Okay. I'm just picking up a little bit of that blue. You can see it all now. You can't see it so much? Correct. How about that? Soften this. Soften it, soften it. Soften it, soften it, soften it. So we're just barely touching the canvas with this stuff, with this brush. Just barely touching it. Barely touching it. Sometimes it's a little difficult on my side because there's a 30 second delay from the time you guys see it the time that I see it, and then vice versa, when I respond, so it's like almost a minute before you go back. Okay, so let's get some, let's, let's, let's make us, let's mix up a snow highlight color. Let's pick up some little blue. I was going to use that blue that I used earlier, but I don't think I will. A little blue is a, is a powerful color. It, it will, it'll overwhelm it'll overwhelm your titanium white if you're not careful. So, it happens to me a lot. All right, so let's get some linseed oil, or you can use odorless paint thinner, it doesn't matter. Whichever one you like best. I like them both about the same. It just happens to be whichever one's closest to me. All right, so let's pick up this color. So pick up this color with a little bit of, it's got a little bit of white in it, and some blue, 
let's just kind of let's tap this color in. Let me see, let me see how this color looks. Let me back up a little bit though. Alright, I think I want that to be lighter. A little bit lighter. Let's try that. You don't want to overdo this too much. I'm just tapping it in with the corner of the brush. I'm going to do this back here and this one. And then let's kind of, let's see, let's kind of see, let's tap it in this way. Actually could have used a little bit. Let's see. Maybe that left. Could actually go below this darkness. Tap a little bit more in. Just kind of make a second row in there, like that. Maybe kind of bring it down this way a little bit. All right. Put that away. Clean up the knife. Okay. Let's put, in, let's, put a, let's put in a cabin. What you say? All right, so where do we want to put the cabin? Let's see. I'll tell you what. Let's put let's put a cabin like right here, and then we'll put a tree in front of it, and then maybe we'll put like a like right here. something like that with a fence post. Alright, let's that'll let's, all right, let's do it. Alright. So I'm just kind of scraping the the shape on here. Through the paint. There's two things, two reasons to do that. Um, one, it takes some excess paint off of your canvas, which gives you more gives you more room to gives you some, some space to work. Right. And secondly, it just kind of helps you lay out the lay out the shape of the cabin. Or whatever. I mean, I, I tend to put a lot of tents in. I like to put tents. Just because that's kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of my thing, I guess. Alright, so let's keep this going. Alright. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Let's see, so if this goes like that. color in, guys. So this is just straight Van Dyke Brown. I hope I'm not getting the weight if y'all see it. And then let's mix that. Let's, let's actually just don't mix that. Let's let's just pull that down with the roof line to start with. So we'll just kind of leave this in here like that. Let and let's pull up a little bit of um, dark sienna. I'm going to mix it up with a little bit of this bluish color that I mixed up for the tree highlights. Kind of pull this down and make the front of the cabin like that. And we'll use that color over here. Just a little bit of it. No, I didn't do enough actually. 
Alright, so let's put it a little bit over the top of that brown just to make it really good. Some dark again. Put in this edge of the edge of the roof. Didn't quite get it. Totally get it. I'm put in this edge of the roof. So if any of you live near Louisville, I will be at an art show demoing on September the 15th at the Jefferson Town Gaslight Festival. So that's out, just outside of Kentucky. Actually, we're actually part of Louisville, but we're a secondary city of ourselves. We have our own mayor and our own police force and all that kind of happy go lucky stuff. So, I'm glad to see you. Alright, so let's do a little bit of a cabinet in here. I'm going to put some more snow on the roof, but let's just kind of pull this out. And kind of pull this out. Just use that landscaping to show off our house, give us some curb appeal. All right. So, I was gonna put the tree in first, but I think I'll highlight this. I think I'll put the roof on and stuff on first. So let me, let me get some more. Titanium white. No matter how much titanium white I put on my easel, it's never enough. Let's try that. I don't want a lot of this, I just want to win. Barely touching the canvas, barely touching the canvas. Alright, now let's add a couple of sub highlights to this. And we'll kinda, we'll kinda leave that alone. Alright, let's get some. Let's grab a little bit of midnight black and kinda put a door in here. That's good enough. Move it over to you. So you don't have to make these things. You don't have to make them really black. Now, if you want to be, in, if you want them to be darker, or if you wanted to put like, if you wanted to light them like with yellow, it would be a good idea to use that little paint eraser that I used on the last video. Just take a little bit of that paint off, and it'll it'll look a lot better. All right, and then I'm gonna put. A little bit of a sub highlight line down along this roof side, just enough to, just enough to add some shadow. Like that. There you go. And if we wanted, we could come in. We can come in and like just pull some lines down and make it look more like boards if you wanted, like that. The same thing on the front if you want. You don't have to, but you can. Now, let's put this tree in, and then I have a thought of maybe, we just going to put the fence in over here. We'll maybe we'll put a couple more bushes like around this thing too, but let's, let's figure it out. Let's get, let's get the brush loaded up here. Like I said, I want to pull this down in front of this, so I want this tree to not be the same height as that one over there. So let's pull it down, let's pull it down. Right over the edge of the cabin. Well, this is going to be challenging. So let's mix up some. Let's mix up a little bit more of this dark color. So it's black, Prussian blue, a little bit of alizarin and crimson. Nice and dark. All right, now let's now let's do it. Oh yeah. I, you know, the palette knife is kind of a scary thing for, for a lot of people. It was for me, I know. But it it's really... It can really do some cool things if you take the time to push it around. Push around and learn to use it a little bit. Don't let it push you around. 
We can do that too. But There's a lot of things you can do it with. Let's just do it with a fan brush. It'd be just as easy to do it with a fan brush as anything. So we'll pull a fan brush up here. And just kind of etch this baby in here. This is just an old wooden fence. An old wooden fence for this old cabin. And we'll just kind of pull these cross beams across. And we'll go down this way. All right. All right, let's just do a little bit of highlighting with that. So I'm just picking up some some of that uh, linseed oil that I put on here earlier. I'm just going to put on the dark side of this. I'm just going to put a little bit of color on the bottom. A little darker, a little darker. Let's turn a little bit darker. There we go. I like that. Let's put this little bit dark color in here. Like this. I'm just cleaning this brush out real quick, and I'm going to turn right around and put some titanium white on it, along with this linseed oil. I'm just going to put a little bit, of, little bit of snow. A little bit of snow across the top. And we'll kind of let it be kind of uneven because snow doesn't fall in a straight line, right? Maybe a little bit like that. Maybe set up like this. All right. Okay. So I'm putting quite a bit of paint out of that. All right. So let's let's get down with some more snow now. So I'm picking up a fan brush. We're just going to put some snow in right around here, right around this pole. We'll pull a little bit of that color with us. Yeah. Now I want to show you an effect that you can get. So this is just, there you go, just going to smooth that out. Um, if you want to add some Texture on the top of your snow. We're going to go back and highlight these trees in just a second. But if you wanted to add some texture on top of your snow, you can use your palette knife to do that. It's, it's really cool. You just get a little bead, just like you do when you're putting in a mountain, right? You just get, and um, you just, just like you do when you're doing a mountain, you just kind of just pull it down, pull it down, pull it down. Just barely touching, barely touching the canvas. Let the canvas take what it wants and let it leave the rest there. And you see it'll create these these highlights on your snow just like that. So I just want to show you that while I'm doing it. Alright, let's go back to highlighting the tree. Alright, trees, I, I think I will move to a smaller fan brush. And I've kind of muddied up my linseed oil, so let me put another couple drops here on the canvas. I mean, on the palette. All right, so we're going to take this, just a little bit of blue, a little more than that. There we go. Just kind of tap, tap this color in. So we're just barely, 
barely touching this. So if you're having to push it, you need to loosen it up a little bit because there's a lot of paint on here on this canvas. So if it's not sticking, you just need to loosen it up a little bit. Now down here on this bigger bush. I'll show you different. It's the same technique, different brush. So I'm just going to pick up one inch brush. He taps the paint into it. We're just going to come right in here with it. Barely touching it, just barely, barely. Letting the paint just letting the paint just kind of slide off there. So, so you can get this you can get the same kind of effect. Alright, so let's see, is there something else I'm working on? If I was John Kenward, I would like stick a snowman in here, but I, I don't really I don't, I don't feel moved to put a snowman in here as yet. That's John's, that's Don's stick. Alright, so let's see. I'm pretty happy with that, I think. Alright, so tell you what, I have an extra easel here. So give me just a second. And, uh, we'll do another painting. Hang on. <laughs> I don't know if I have to clean my whole canvas off or not. I mean, my whole uh, palette off or not, probably. But we'll just find out. Alright, so let, we, got, we kind of got the mirror thing going. I can't, Sonny, I can't. I can't touch, tap that, whatever that is, and change it. Anyway, all right, so let's do something new. Let's get a plenty of one of my little plates. Do something else while we're at it. I got just I got just a little bit more free time, so let's do it. All right. So this is looking clear that I make myself. It's one part. Linseed oil, three parts. One part linseed oil, three parts. Odorless mineral spirits. Very easy to make. One part to three. You might also like one part to four. It dries a little quicker if you put one part to four. I don't really like my liquid clear to be drying too fast though, because since I don't tend to plan my paintings, I just they just kind of evolve. Sometimes I need a little bit more time than what I get. We're just putting this liquid clear on here. Just scrub it all around. Throw this plate away. Alright. Now let's clean this brush. Now I can tell you right now, that's, that's a lot of liquid clear. Don't leave that much on your canvas. So you get that much on there and I can see on the looking at the camera that you can, can see that you can see. So you just want to kind of wipe some of that off. You really just need a thin coat. But this canvas I've got here has got a lot of tooth in it. Can you hear it when I'm rubbing it? So it's got a nice sheen on it. That's about what you'd like to have. Alright, so what are we gonna paint now? Alright, I'll tell you what, let's do this. Let's take some phthalo blue. And we'll just paint that over the whole canvas. We'll do a one time night scene maybe. 
Oh, well, you know what? We, we could probably do something kind of like we just did. Except just doing that canvas. See how different that comes out. I'm just evening the paint out. Wow, everybody's so quiet. You, how come you guys are so quiet today? Nobody's got any questions or nothing? I know some of you guys are at work watching. And that's, that's, that's kind of you. It's very nice of you to do that. All right, so let's see. Let's start off with... Uh, <laughs> Let's get some titanium white out. This is titanium white. I could just use liquid white, but I'm not going to. Because <clears throat> I don't have a lot of that left. My shipping is not here. Alright, so let's get some linseed oil on that, bro, on that. I just got some white on the end here. Let's just flick some stars up in the sky. Or maybe they're snowflakes, who knows? I can get as many stars as there's a hope. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Cool, cool, cool. Here we go. Now I'm getting some. There's some stars up in there. And they got a little, if you can see, they got a little bit of blue in there with them. So that's cool, because the stars are not all shiny white, some of them are red. You know, I could put a couple of red stars up there. That's a good idea. Let's do that. Let's just flick a couple of red ones up here. Uh, oh, I've got a bunch of drones. Alright. Now, hey Marilyn, the one thing you shouldn't do is uh, if you put liquid clear on, is don't flick your stars up there using Oldrus Mineral Spirits because those two products, Liquid Clear and Oldrus Mineral Spirits, they have a violent reaction. <laughs> they, they don't like each other very much. So, don't do that. So, uh, maybe on the next video, I'll show you guys. Um, next time I do a video, I'll show you guys how what happens when we do that. Alright, so let's, let's sling a couple clouds up in there here. A couple of night clouds. It's been very cloudy here where I live the last several days. And, uh, I used to get aggravated by that, but now it's, it kind of gives me a chance to really s s study clouds and see how they look in real life. So some of these clouds, you know, they're going to kind of wipe out some of our stars, but that's okay. It's not that cloudy. All right. So for those of you joining, this is our second painting today. So you can go back and watch the first part of the video. Get, get two for one. Hey, Rosalie. Hello, Shirley. It's my sister, Shirley Hopper. She lives across the river from me. Alright, so let's just kind of smooth these clouds, just blend these clouds out just a little bit. Kind of want them to fade off into the, into the night sky. I'm not going to clean the brush, I'm just going to kind of wipe it out in the paper towel. Pushing back. All right, I want to put in another 
think I want to put another row of those though. So let's tell you what, I'm just I did those with a fan brush, so I'll do these with a one inch brush. So I've got paint pretty well loaded in this brush. You can put clouds in with any of these brushes. Sometimes the, the bigger brushes tend to intimidate people. They really shouldn't, but they do. Halloween uh, paintings last year. I see quite a few people have done some of those. Alright, so let's kind of, I don't know, it just doesn't kind of, it doesn't, it doesn't call me, it doesn't make me want to paint that. painting quite a while. I'd be surprised. It's probably been a couple of weeks. Alright, so let's take So I'm taking some Van Dyke Brown and I'm mixing it with that color, three color I used on the last painting. And we'll just kind of lay some mountain in here. Let's kind of uh, what side do I want? Let's put him on let's put him on this side. So we don't care what's going on down here too much. The main thing is we just want to have a nice good sharp edge for that. Oh yeah, I've done some mountain paintings. I just never remember what they were. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so let's just kind of make this like a range like that. What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? plenty on there. You need to be careful not to touch the edge. The canvas can take it. So don't worry about scratching a hole through your canvas because it's impossible. Just about impossible. I won't say it's impossible because as sure as I do somebody will do it. Alright so let's let's take a brush and we'll kind of wait start laying these mountains out. So let's start with the big dude. Big dude's the farthest away, I think. So, just kind of play out the big dude's kind of shape. Like that. And then this side like this. This will kind of go down like that. Yeah. So that mountain's going to be in front of that one. This one's going to be in front of that one, but it's smaller, right? Alright. I can understand that. And this one. Let's sweep up in front of that one. But let's make it a little more curvier than that. Like that. Like that and more like that. So the good part about this is that you can you can change how the mountains look without actually committing. So you wanted to make uh, another peak right here, you just like brush it in there. Just like that. Alright. Alright. So, so we're gonna have like like that, and some more sweeping area like this. And that's going to go like that. Alright. I didn't know I was going to paint a mountain painting today. Maybe it'll get dry before the show. People like mountain paintings. Alright, so let's get some... Tell you what, tell you what. Let's put... 
Let's put the reverse highlight on first this time, just because we can. Uh, so I've got some phthalo blue that we used on the last painting. So I just put a little bead of it on my knife. Can you see that? Can you see how small that bead is? I'm just going to come in here. Need to get the knife a little flatter. More flat. I'm not trying to cover up all that black. That black, that black is our friend. That's what creates the. Now, this mountain's a little shorter than the other one. It's widthwise, so let's just kind of put on the short edge this time. And then over here on the big dude, we've got. Just a teeny bit, just a little bit like that. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Just spit them out. There are no stupid questions. Some people don't want to ask because I think they look silly, but you know what? I wish I had somebody just answer my questions when I first started this. All right. Hey, sis. All right, now we've got. We got some red stars up in the sky, so I think with the snow on the bright side on this side, this looks just a, a tad bit, just a tad bit of red of blue uh, and crimson with the color, with the highlight color, just to make it you know, a little bit warmer than just white. So let's start. Let's start over here. Just barely, like barely touching the canvas. Now, the trick to that is holding your knife properly. There's a tendency. We all grew up with our parents teaching us how to butter our bread by putting our fingers on the butt knife like that. If you do that, it will cause the the. Can I show you? I don't know if I could. I don't know if this will work on this, but I'll try on this because it's so smooth. But we'll see. But. If you if you push the knife down flat like that, it's gonna create a butter thing, right? But if you keep your finger off of it and you just let the knife pull, it'll just pull it just the part that it needs. Does that make sense? No pressure. If you put the pressure on there, it's gonna be a mess. If I put that against my leg and get all of my clues, my wife's gonna beat me with a big stick. Alright. <laughs> Not really. I have the sweetest wife in the world. Alright. Ask my sister, she'll tell you. All right, so let's continue to put this down here. So, can't paint without paint. All right, now I want to show you how to change things here. you should want to. Alright, so this is this slope is a little little straight coming down coming down the canvas. So I'm gonna change it. it Mix up a little bit more of that color because I ran out. Alright, there we go. So all I gotta do is pull it over some is just bring it over here and just That's all it takes, gang. Alright, let's continue on here. up enough paint in different places today. So I'm going to create another peak over here. Like that. Maybe even like bring it all the way up. Alright. Now 
Now, you can come across here a couple of spots and put just a little bit of actual white, titanium white across there just to create some highlights if you want to. Um, hey, Bill! Bill Roberts. My buddy Bill. Bill and I have been friends for a long, 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 long time. Alright, so let's take a little bit of this darker color and we'll just put a little bit of that dark color in here on a couple of these places. Just to, just to provide more contrast, that's all. Just, just a little bit of contrast. A little bit of contrast. All right. Okay. Now, so that done, let's put... Create some fog up in here. Great. We don't want to destroy what we had, what we did, but we do want to. Yeah. Oh, that's going this way until we get over here. There we go. <laughs> Bill is in love with the state of Maine. And I, can't, I can imagine why. I've seen some of the pictures he's, he's sent out. And they're pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right, let's put some trees in here. I tell you what, we could do. Sh 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 let's put some lighter colored trees in here. Let's see if this color will show up well enough. Yeah, it might. It might show up. All right, so let me sit back so you guys can see. So put this in. I don't know. Let's put some distant trees. Now back here we have some trees back here and they're kind of coming forward like this, like that, like that. They want them to all be the same height, so. And I mixed a little bit of extra brown color in there just to kind of show them off a little bit. Take part of this color and we'll pull it down as reflections. About half of it. Of course, we got some blue on the canvas already. All right, and we'll pull this across. So, I could put the highlight color down at the same time, but I don't think I will. I think I'll just put this color in. You can see I'm really bearing down hard on that knife to put this color in. Alright, just give it a distant shoreline. And then, now we'll put the highlight on. Why is everybody being so quiet? All right. And if you put these water lines in, even though you're moving up and down on the page or on the canvas, make sure that you keep your knife horizontal. You see, I'm pushing on, pushing on this, pushing on this pretty hard, pretty hard. Put these water lines in here. And I'm just gonna put a few out here on the water. Hey, hey, baby. All right. Now let's put a highlight color on that, on that bank. So we'll just mix up some. A lighter color. 
produce that. Just gonna touch a little bit of this in here. I think that distance, looking at that, I think I could probably squeeze a row of bushes in there. So let's see if we can. Let's get some a little bit darker color. Kind of. I'm using a fan brush. I'm just kind of squishing some bushes in there. We're still using the same dark color we used back on those trees in the last painting. That adds another whole dimension there to the another whole layer. The more layers you can have in your painting, the better off you are. So you got the sky, the stars, the clouds, another whole cloud. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we've got eleven layers there. Alright. Now this waterline right here is a little crooked. It's a, little not, it's a little bit not horizontal, so we're gonna. That's okay. Uh, we're gonna fix it. So all you gotta do, really all you gotta do is fix it. Just, just push it around, push it around, push it around. And then I'm kind of just gonna smooth these out a little bit, push them back into the painting a little farther, so that they're not quite so sharp. Now you don't have to do that. You can leave them that way, and actually they'll they'll look cool because they'll have a lot of texture to them. So all I'm doing here is I'm just picking up some white on this on my uh, brush here and brushing a little bit more water in here. Isn't it the way to create water? It's pretty easy, ain't it? We've already got the blue down, so all we gotta do is add some add some a little bit of white. And it's automatically shadowed. Alright. Oh no, what could we add? Pick up some of this dark color again. I think I will just need some length, right like that. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'll do the same thing over here. Just kind of dark in this front panel. You'll see how much depth we can build in there. Alright. So let's start off with the stuff that's far Hey Ray! How are how is life in California IA? Ray Naso. Master artist. That guy is he's awesome. If you guys have a look at his work you should. He is painting. This stuff is just amazing. He, he's, he might be the new Thomas Kincaid around here, I tell you. He's really good. Alright, so let's go ahead and mix up some more of this dark color since we've kind of used it up. Uh, you know, what we'll do, we'll just, just let me get a bunch of paints out. We'll get some mountain mixture out. And we'll just mix that with some daylight like brown. As soon as I find it. Hey Patrick, so this is the second painting today guys, so if you go back and look at the first part of the video, there's a totally different painting. It's also a weird scene, but it's, it's much different than this one. Alright, so I'm just mixing up some more of this dark color, kind of lay some stuff in here. So let's put some, alright, eventually I'm going to have to clean my knives because I've, I've dirtied them all up now, just about. Alright, so let's just, let's, Let's start down here. Let's scrunch in some color. 
Actually, we're just going to scratch it some bullet bushes. If you have any questions about any of this technique, just let me know. If you don't want to ask me on the live stream for some reason, feel free to send me a message. Alright, that looks pretty good. What do I want to do? Oh, thanks, Ray. I've been trying to focus this. It's my third year. Starting in May, be my start in my third year. So I've been trying to focus on those a pretty good bit toward the end of the second year this year. So I want to do that a little bit. So, all right. Um, let's put down some color. So what I'm doing here. Yeah, do this. I'm using some liquid clear, some titanium white. I'm just going to go in here and pick out a few bushes here. I'm just barely touching this thing, barely touching it to the canvas. And as it comes forward, just let me get it darker, darker, darker. I have to move around the canvas because if I don't, I tend to not get as many individual bushes in as I would like to get. They're a little bit more random if I move around. So we're picking up some of this color as we go, too. So if you move them down the canvas, they get a little bit darker and darker. And that's okay. That's what we're looking for. changes. I'm going to talk to you about changing stuff here. I, I did a video recently on changing changing paintings. Um, commission that I did, somebody wanted to change to that. So a big change too. So um, we did. But we did it. It was a good change. I liked it. They did. <laughs> it's funny because I don't think they, I think they were afraid I was going to mess the painting up if I did change it. But we changed it. All right, so let's put a tree in here. Let's start. Let's start. So we've got this foreground here. We could just leave that. And just kind of let this go the way it is. But let's just kind of let's, let's let's do a few things. So let's start on this side and put a big tree in here somewhere. All right. This is kind of put it down. Now we're going over a lot of paint. We're going over with this paper. Putting this tree in. All those layers of paint down there are all still wet, right? So take your time. If the paint's not sticking, if the paint's not sticking, then just add a little bit of um, paint thinner to it, a little bit of linseed oil. Mm -hmm. That's okay. I like that okay. So let's mix. I used up all my paint. So let's try. Let's mix it up one more time. Because I got a couple more trees yet to put in here. Let's get some of that. Mm -hmm. some. Just some of that black would be good. So much paint on my knives that they're stuck together. All right, let me mix this up. Mix up this color real quick. All right. So let's put another tree in behind this one. I'm gonna make this one a little bit smaller, which will make it a little more behind. Put the color in. Maybe, 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 maybe one more. Let's put a small one right here. 
a little bit taller than that. Here we go. All right, so you guys get you guys get the vote. Thanks, man. You're awesome. You, you guys get the vote. You want to put a, a cabin in on this side, or you want to put just put some trees in on this side? And like, man's never been here before. Sixty seconds. While we, while you're doing that, while you're thinking about that, or voting, or whatever, I will go highlight this. We put the reverse color on first. Want a lot of that? Right now, though. So it's just kind of a bluish color. We're gonna put on the back, on the back side of these. It's really thin that I'm putting on there. Trees. Okay, J votes for trees. Speak now, forever hold your peace. That's good because I did a cabin in the last one, so I'll be happy to put the reason. Alright. Okay, so Jay was the only one that voted, so he gets he gets his uh gets his way. Alright, so trees it is. So we got this fan brush loaded up. Full of paint. Full of paint. Alright, so we want to kind of draw the viewer's eye toward the center, right? So we'll come back here and we'll put another tree in here, but let's put this one not as tall as that one, so we'll just kind of place it right on in front of the mountain like that. Da, 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 da. Oh, it's going to be hard to put in there too. There's a lot of snow on that mountain over there. Alright, let's put it in here. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Ooh, here we go. Let's bring this guy. Let's bring this guy down. highlight color up so let's just use that let's go ahead and put this on like I said when you put these highlights on you don't you don't want to take all that dark out sometimes you start highlighting in it feels so great you just don't even want to stop I think down here we'll just make some bushes along with that where we had it before all right I want to keep, sometimes you're using your fan brush and you don't want to stop either, so. <laughs> All right, so I don't want to stop with my fan brush. I got, I'm going to pick up some white, some titanium white, a lot of titanium white. But it's it's mixed with linseed oil. Actually, it's mixed with liquid clear. Now we're just going to highlight the rest of these trees. If you got it mixed right, you should just be to barely touch it on there. All right, let's put some put some big bushes in here to go with those, shall we? All right, so let's pick up some of that white again and some linseed oil to make it thinner, just a little bit thinner, a lot thinner maybe actually. And then let's put a big bush right, right in here. So we've got those trees pushed off down the hill by the bushes, right? And we could use a little other little, little bush right here to push that back. All right. 
And then let's kind of put one in here, or at least some in here. Uh, there we go. Gang. I think that about wraps us up here. I'm sitting right up on the painting so I can't see how the shadows look, but hopefully look good. Can you guys see the stars and all that stuff back there we started with? So all right. Well, so we did two paintings today on the video, and uh, we uh, let's let's do a giveaway. I'll tell you what. Uh, so hang on a second. So we got this little eight by ten that we did a while back. I'll tell you what we're going to do tomorrow, about the same time, maybe about 3, about 3 Eastern, we will go through all the likes and shares that are on there, on this video, and we will draw randomly, draw a name from there. If you already won, you can't win twice. And then if you live in the continental United States, we'll draw your name, we'll ask if you live in the continental United States, and if you do, we'll mail this to you free. It's an oil painting, and uh, it'll be yours, signed, sealed, and delivered. All right, well, I hope you guys have a great day. We will be back painting again probably on Sunday. Meanwhile, let me give a couple of, couple of uh, channels that you should be watching if you're not. Anthony C. Gray has a wonderful acrylic painting channel. Emily Jean. Uh, and that, that's her name on Facebook, Emily Team. That's her name in real life. The um is a fantastic acrylic artist that you should be watching if you're not. And um, of course, you're always welcome here. So um, thanks a bunch, guys, and we will see you next time.